Hello and welcome to the water element. So in today's class, it's going to be all about constant movement. So I really want you to think about the fluidity and transitions of the class. As you can see, I'm by the gorgeous water. So I really want you to think about the beautiful movement of water, like a wave and like a ripple. We're barely ever going to have any static poses in today's class. So I really hope you channel this water element and take it with you. Hope you enjoy. So we're going to start cross-legged today. I'm just come to a comfortable seated position. If it feels a little bit sore on your knees, you can maybe place some blocks underneath them. But we're going to, as I said, we're going to keep moving throughout this practice so we shouldn't be staying in one position for too long. From here, we're going to inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And as we exhale, we reach over towards the left, bringing the left hand down and reaching over with the right. And as we inhale, we come up through center and take it over to the right, reaching over. Inhaling, sweeping all the way across, planting the hand. You can put a little pressure in the hand to reach over a little bit more. Inhaling, sweeping across, moving with the breath. Inhaling, sweeping to the other side. Exhaling, coming through center, planting the hand, reaching. Our next inhale, we come up through center, reaching up. And then we'll plant the hands at the top of the mat and we're gonna come to our tabletop position. So our shoulders over our wrists, knees underneath our shoulders, keeping the movement going. We're just rocking forwards and backwards, slowly warming up the wrists. Inhale as we come forwards, exhale as we take it back. Inhaling forwards, exhale, taking it back. And then coming back to that neutral tabletop position, moving through cat cows, we inhale, drop the belly down, lift the chest up. And as we exhale, we round the spine, tucking the chin and the tailbone. I want you to move like a wave, like a ripple through the spine. As we inhale, tuck the tailbone up, drop the belly, lift the chest. And then as we exhale, we can tuck the tailbone first, then round the shoulders and the spine, and then tuck the chin. And again, inhale, tuck the tailbone up, drop the belly, lift the chest. And exhale, tucking the tailbone under, rounding through the back and the shoulders and then tucking the chin. And again, inhale, tucking up the tailbone, lifting the chest up, lifting the chin. And exhale, tucking the tailbone, rounding the spine, tucking the chin. Coming back to a neutral tabletop, flat back. We inhale, lift the right arm up, opening up. And as we exhale, we're going to reach underneath that gap, but we're not going to stay. We just reach. And then as we inhale, we open back up. Exhale, reaching underneath that gap. Inhale, pushing back through that arm to open up. Last time, we exhale, reach underneath. Inhale, open up towards the right. And then exhale, plant the hand back down, tabletop. Moving back through the cat cows, we inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, rippling through the spine as we round into angry cat. And again, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. And exhale, rounding the spine. We'll come back to a neutral tabletop for the other side. We inhale, lift the left arm up. And as we exhale, we reach underneath that gap, reaching towards the other side. Inhale to open up, keeping the movement going. Exhale, reaching underneath. And again, inhale, opening up one last time. Exhale, reaching underneath. Then we inhale to open. Exhale, plant the hand underneath the shoulder and we'll do one more cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding the spine. Then from here, I want you to tuck the back toes under, lifting the hips and the knees to downward facing dog. We'll just start to walk the feet out in downward dog. Inhaling as we lift one heel and drop the other. Exhale as we switch it out. And again, inhaling and exhaling. And then bringing both heels down towards the mat. 
we inhale, lift the heels up high so the hip bones lift a little higher. And then as we exhale, we draw the heels back down. And again, inhale, lift the heels, lift the hips. Exhale, draw the heels down. One more time, inhale, lift the heels. And exhale, draw the heels back down. This time shifting forwards to high plank, but we're gonna ripple through the spine like we did in cat cow. We inhale, lift the heels up, so we're up onto the toes, and then keep that ripple going forward. So we round the spine, starting to drop the hips until our shoulders come over our wrists, squeezing the core. You can take the gaze forwards. And then as we exhale, we bend the knees first, tuck the tailbone up, and then take the hips back and then we can take that gaze towards the toes. So nice and slowly, really fluid through the spine. We inhale, lift high up onto the toes, keeping the ripple going forwards through the spine, rounding up through the shoulder blades. Hips come down, gaze comes to the top of the mat. As soon as we get there, we exhale, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone up, taking the hips up and back, and then our gaze comes towards those toes. One more time, we inhale, rippling forwards, rounding through the back, through the shoulder blades, squeezing the core, gaze comes forwards. Exhale, bending the knees, tucking the tailbone up and taking the gaze towards those toes. Nice. This time we inhale, shift forwards, rippling through the spine to high plank. And then we're gonna lower down. You can drop your knees if you like or keep them lifted as we slowly lower down onto our belly. We untuck the toes, taking our hands to the outside of the mat, you can bridge onto the fingertips. Squeezing the lower back, we inhale, lift a cobra. And then as we exhale, we're gonna drop the right shoulder down to the midline and look over the left. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, look over the right. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, look over the left. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, drop the left. Inhale, lift up one last time. And then exhale, coming all the way back down onto the belly. We'll place our hands underneath our shoulders, tuck the back toes. You can push through tabletop, lifting the hips and the knees to downward facing dog. Nice. Then from here, we're just gonna walk the feet up towards the top of the mat, nice and slowly. And then as we get to the top, we'll just sway gently side to side. So we're constantly moving throughout this practice. Barely any static poses. Keeping that fluidity moving, that water-like movement. And then from here, we're going to roll up to standing. So we'll start by bending the knees, tucking the chin. Head comes up last. And then as we get there, we roll the shoulders up, back and down, palms facing forwards, mountain pose. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, we forward fold down. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins, flattening the back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing again, sweeping the arms up overhead. And exhale, bring the palms to the chest. Straight away, we inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins, halfway lift, flattening the back. Exhale, fold, squeezing the core. Inhale, rolling up to standing, sweeping the arms all the way up overhead. Palms can touch and exhale, bring the palms to the chest. And then straight away, the inhale, straight up overhead. Palms to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale, folding again. Inhale, rolling up to standing, sweeping the arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, bring the palms to the chest. Keeping this movement going, we inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. We're going to step the right leg back. Nice long stance, drop the back knee. From here, we sweep the arms up overhead, lifting. And then as we exhale, we shift the weight back straight in the front leg and we can take our arms behind us like wings. Inhale, shifting forward, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, shifting back, taking the arms behind us. 
And again, inhale, shifting forwards. Exhale, shifting back, taking the arms behind us, a little bow down. This time we inhale, shift forwards, plant the hands, framing the front foot. Un lift the back toes, stepping back straight to downward dog. Keeping the movement going, we inhale, shift forwards, high plank. Exhale to chaturanga, lowering down halfway. Inhale, flip over the feet, upward facing dog. Exhale, take the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhaling here. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands. We can step, walk or hop to the top of the mat. We inhale, halfway lift and exhale to fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, sweeping the arms all the way up overhead. And as we exhale, we're gonna dive straight back down for the other side. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, this time step the left leg back. We drop the back knee down, and as we inhale, we sweep the arms up overhead, pushing the hips forwards. Exhale, shifting the weight back, straighten the front leg and taking those arms behind us, bowing down. Inhale, shifting forward, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, straightening the front leg as we forward fold down. Inhale, shifting forward, sweeping the arms. Exhale, folding over, the arms come behind. This time we inhale, bend the front leg, framing the front foot and stepping straight back to downward dog. And as we get there, we inhale, shift forwards, high plank. Exhale to your chaturanga, you can lower down halfway or all the way to the belly for cobra. Inhale, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking one breath in downward dog, we inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, hop or walk to the top of the mat. We inhale, halfway lift as we get there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, bringing the arms all the way up overhead, palms to touch. And exhale, bring the palms to the chest. Second round, we inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hand, step the right leg back. But we don't lower the back knee this time. We're gonna plant the right hand underneath the shoulder and we open up the left towards the left. You can even reach that hand a little bit back behind us to open up the chest, inhaling. And then as we exhale, we take that left hand and we bring it all the way around so we kind of give ourselves this little hug, rounding the spine. Keeping that movement going, we inhale, open the chest up. Exhale, rounding the spine, giving ourselves that little hug. And again, inhale, opening up the chest. Maybe we take the gaze up. Exhale, rounding the spine. Maybe we take that hand towards that back foot. Inhale to open one last time. And then exhale, we frame the front foot. And again, we step straight back to downward dog. Next inhale, we shift forwards, high plank. Exhale to that chaturanga. You can lower your knees if you need to as we inhale to your back bend, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, taking the weight back, downward facing dog. Inhaling here all together. Exhale as we bend the knees, look between the hands. Again, we can step, walk or hop to the top of the mat. We inhale, halfway lift as we get there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, bringing the arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, we're diving straight back down for the second side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left leg back. Nice long stance, don't drop the back knee. Keeping the left hand underneath the shoulder as we open up the right arm. Opening up the chest, maybe we take the gaze up. And then as we exhale, we round the spine and taking that right hand all the way back behind us, giving ourselves that little hug. Again, we inhale, opening up the chest and exhale, rounding the back. Inhale to open and exhale to round. Last time as we inhale, open. And then as we exhale, we frame the front foot. Everybody step back downward facing dog. 
Our next inhale, we shift forwards, high plank. Exhale to our chaturanga, halfway down or less. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling here. And as we exhale, we bend the knees, look between the hands. We can step, walk or hop to the top of the mat. As we inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up to standing, bringing the arms all the way up overhead. And exhale, bring the palms to the chest. Keeping that movement going, we're moving through to Sun Salutation B. So keeping those knees and toes together as we inhale, bend the knees, sitting to chair pose. Exhale, straightening the legs as we forward fold down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale, making our way back through Chaturanga. You can step or hop as we land with bent elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. And as soon as we arrive, we inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bringing the knee all the way through to the nose. Inhale, taking it back, moving like a wave. We inhale, shift forwards, bring the knee to nose. Inhale, taking it back, three-legged dog. This time, exhale, bringing the knee towards the nose, lifting the hips as high as we can as we step that foot through between the hands. Then we drop the back heel down and we windmill the arms open, warrior two. As soon as we get there, we inhale, lift the arms straight in the front leg. And then as we exhale, we bring the hands through chest and open the arms back out, warrior two. Inhale, lift the arms straight in the leg. Exhale, warrior two, opening up. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, sinking down, warrior two. As we get there, we flip the front palm and we reach the arm all the way back behind us, reverse the warrior, inhale. Keep the movement going as we exhale, we shift forwards, elbow to the front knee, top arm comes up and over, side angle pose. And again, inhale, sweeping back, reverse the warrior. And exhale, sweeping forwards, side angle. Opening up through the side bodies as we inhale, reaching back, reverse the warrior. And exhale, sweeping forwards, side angle pose. This time we inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down, framing the front foot, stepping back through our vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, we inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, shifting forwards, knee to nose, squeeze the core. Inhale, taking it back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, taking the leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it up, lift the hips a little higher and then step that foot through between the hands. Nice long stance, drop the back heel, and we windmill the arms open, warrior two. As soon as we get there, we inhale, lift the arms, straighten the front leg. Exhale, hands come through the chest and open up, warrior two. Inhale, lifting, straighten the front leg. Exhale, sinking down, warrior two. And again, inhale, lifting, creating space. Exhale, opening up, warrior two. Then we flip the front palm, reverse the warrior. Inhale, reaching back. And then as we exhale, we reach forwards. Elbow comes towards the knee, top arm comes up and over. Side angle. Inhale, sweeping back like a wave. And exhale, reaching forwards. Elbow comes down, top arm comes up and over. Inhale, sweeping forwards. Taking it back. Exhale, side angle pose last time. Then as we inhale, we come back up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down, framing the foot, stepping back through our vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. We inhale here. Exhale to stay. We're gonna keep the movement going, inhaling. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands. We can step, hop, or walk. 
to the top of the mat. We inhale, halfway lift as we get there, and exhale, forward fold. Bending deep into the knees as we inhale, sit to chair. Exhale, come to standing, bring the palms to the chest. One more round, we inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump back, landing with bent elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. We inhale, lift the right leg up. This time we exhale, bring the knee towards the nose and we're gonna step it straight in between the hands. Drop the back heel down as we inhale, open up, warrior two. We know where we're going. We inhale, lift the arms, straighten the leg. Exhale, take the arms through the chest and open up, warrior two. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, sinking. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, we inhale, reach it back. Exhale, side angle pose, up and over. And again, we inhale, sweep it back, reverse the warrior. And exhale, sweeping forwards, elbow to the knee or inside of the knee, side angle. Last time, we inhale, take it back. And exhale, side angle pose. This time we inhale, come back up, warrior two. And as we exhale, we windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, stepping back through our vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. We've got one more side to do. We inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bring the knee in towards the nose and then step the foot through. Dropping the back heel down, sweeping the arms up, open up, warrior two. Inhale, lift the arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, hands come through the chest, open up, warrior two. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, sinking down. Moving like that wave, like the ripple, inhale. Exhale, to sink. Flip the front palm, we inhale, reach it back. Reverse warrior. Exhale, take it forwards, elbow to the knee, top arm comes up and over. Inhale, taking it back, reverse. And exhale, sweeping forwards, reverse. Side angle pose. Last time we inhale, take it back. And exhale, side angle pose, one last time. Then we inhale, come back up, warrior two. And exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, stepping back through our vinyasa, exhaling chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. We inhaling here. Exhale to stay. We're gonna keep the movement going, but we're gonna slow the practice down a little bit. We're gonna inhale, lift the right leg up. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring the shin forwards, coming through into pigeon. So flexing the front foot, bring that shin down behind the hands and dropping the knee, back knee down. We're gonna come back onto those fingertips like we did in Cobra. As we inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, bend the elbows, melt the chin and the chest down towards the mat. Inhale, rippling up through the spine as we lift. Exhale, melting down. This nice fluid movement, we inhale, lift. And exhale to lower. We'll do one more inhale, lifting. And exhale, sinking. This time as we inhale, lift, we plant the hands in front of the shin, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, step straight back to downward dog. We'll just walk through the feet noticing a difference in the hips. Then moving through the other side, we inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, shift forwards, bring the shin forwards, flexing that front foot as we lower the shin down. You might wanna take a little hop back with that back kneecap, coming onto the fingertips. As we inhale, lift the chest up, keeping that fluid movement as we exhale, melting the chest down, bending the elbows. Inhale, lifting up. 
Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering down, bowing down. We'll do one more for good measure. We inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. This time as we inhale, lift, we can plant the hands, but we're gonna come and roll onto the outside of that left hip. And then from here, I want you to bring your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. It should always already be there, really, if you bring that right foot round. And then we wanna square the torso. I'm gonna face you. Square the torso over that leg. As we inhale, we lift the arms up. And exhale, we fold down over that front leg. Then from here, keeping this movement going, we're gonna inhale, sweep the arms all the way across, so really low to the ground, planting the hand behind us as we lift the hips up, opening the chest to this modified wild thing. Exhale, lower the hips down as we sweep the arms all the way across and fold over that straight leg. And again, inhale, sweeping across, planting the hand, lifting the hips up as we open. Exhale, dropping the hips down and folding over that straight leg. Last time we inhale, sweep across, we plant that left hand as we reach it up, open. And then exhale, lower the hips, sweeping back around that straight leg. Inhale, rolling up to seated, switching the legs around. So now our right foot should be on the inside of our left leg. Just pushing the torso around straight over that front leg. We inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms all the way across, planting the right hand behind, pushing the hips up and open the chest. Exhale, lower the hips down as we sweep the arms all the way across that body, staying low to the ground. Inhaling, sweeping across, planting the hand behind us as we lift the hips, open the chest. Exhale, lower the hips down as we sweep all the way back, folding over that straight leg. Last time we inhale, sweeping nice and low, planting the hand, lifting the hips, open. Exhale as we lower the hips down, folding over that straight leg. Inhale, rolling up to start seated. We're gonna bring our legs straight out in front this time. From here, we're in this straight leg staff pose. We inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, reaching forwards to a forward fold. But like, we, like I said, we keep the movement going. As we inhale, rolling up back to seated, we need to plant the hands just a little bit back behind us so they're kind of underneath your shoulders, fingers facing forwards, pushing into the hands and the heels as we lift the hips up to this reverse plank. You may take the gaze back, opening up the throat. Exhale, lower the hips back down as we forward fold. A little bit of core work, strengthen those shoulders. And again, as we inhale, rolling back up to seated, planting the hands behind us. As we inhale, push the hips up, opening up the throat. Exhale, lower the hips down, forward fold. We'll do one more, inhaling, planting the hands behind us, lift the hips, open the throat and the shoulders. And exhale, lower the hips, forward fold. This time we inhale, roll up to seated, coming to lie all the way on our backs. I'm just going to finish with a little twist. So you can bring the knees, you can cross over your knees. Maybe you wrap your ankle around the back calf. As we take our arms out wide, we take those knees all the way over towards the left. Inhaling here in the twist. Exhale to stay. One of the static poses in the whole class. Inhaling and exhaling. Unraveling the legs as we inhale, come back up through center. You can cross the left over the right this time, maybe wrapping the ankle around the calf as we now take the heels over towards the left. In 
inhaling here. Stay as we exhale. Our next inhale, we come back up through center. And then we're gonna take both of our legs out long, feet falling out, palms facing up, coming to our final resting pose, Shavasana. We'll take one big inhale together and then sighing the breath out. Closing your eyes if they aren't already closed. Taking this time of stillness after all that movement, all those fluid transitions. This is now your time to be still and let the effects of the practice settle in. <laughs> 